I'm curious, everybody that I've talked to over the years has different ways that they go about uh, their writing process versus right. bands, single artists, everybody. They all have a different way of doing things, right? There's no, you know, back to catch, there's no wrong way to skin right. a cat or whatever the fucking saying is. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm sure there's a wrong way to skin a cat. That's not the same. All right, anyways. <laughs> Skin There's skin. many ways to skin a cat is there the same. Go. There we go. I know a thing or two. Not about music. Anyways, um, so I wanted to ask, what, what is your guys' process like? Or what is your process specifically? Like when you go to write a riff, write a song, a melody, anything like that, what comes first? What inspires you to get in there? And you know, just in general, what's, your, what's kind of your process? Yeah. Um, you know, it used to be different. Back from Smash and before, uh, you know, we Dexter would pretty much come to the to us with songs and we would you know, all kind of learn them together and mm -hmm. then go into the studio and rehearse them, you know, and then go in because <clears throat> we couldn't spend a lot of money, you know, in a recording studio. Those things were super expensive. They still are probably, but yeah. back then even more so, you know, with technology, I think everything is a little bit less expensive now. Yeah, you can, you can make a lot of things super, sound the way you want. Yeah, it was super expensive back then. And so we had to have everything ready to go and things would change a little bit in the recording studio, but most of the changes happened once we all got together and started rehearsing them, you know, and we'd go to like just a little local rehearsal place, you know, yeah. like Trojan or I, mean, I can't remember some of the other places. Dude, there's, there's, they, they changed the names a lot too. There was one over yeah. in Fountain Valley that we used to go to all the time. And I don't even think Sound it's Matrix. Sound Matrix. It's not even yeah. there anymore. No, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it's done. Yeah. It's a bummer. Um, yeah, there's another one not far from there that we've gone to a couple times more in Santa Ana, really. Uh, but so we would do it that way. Nowadays, we usually go in and, and Dexter will start talking really with Bob and Dexter will go, I have this idea. And sometimes it's a, an acoustic guitar progression, mm -hmm. you know, that we start with that and it becomes electric or whatever. Sometimes it's a it's just a drum beat, you know, and, you know, or a shuffle, bum, ba, da, ba, ba, yeah. you know, and, and then we just kind of build on that. Right. You know, sometimes it, he has a whole song flushed out in his head. That's it's generally rarer. Okay. You know, some of those songs are the best ones, too, though, you know, that happen. You know, he comes in, he's like, I got this idea, you know, I've got it all here. And so he's just, he kind of lays down a drum, a drum uh, thing on the drum machine, really, mm -hmm. just to kind of get it started. Then we start laying things, layering things Layer down, down, guitars, yeah. bass, you know, everything. And then he'll go in and do the vocals. Then if we get it together and we have the structure of the song, then we'll fly Pete out. Pete lives in Nashville. So okay. we'll fly him out. And we're doing drums in our studio now. And... In Huntington, we've got we've got like a Neve board that we run into nice. the into the uh, you know Pro Tools and stuff, yeah. so it gives it a little bit more warmth, a little more analog. That's and kind of digital. that's the way we've we've always done it too. Yeah. It's like, still got to have the digital these days. It's, it just makes life so much easier. Oh, for but sure. Yeah. To have that warmth, absolutely, a Neve console is, is, is the way to go. Some kind of some kind of yeah analog yeah. in there to absolutely to warm it up for absolutely sure. yeah a lot of different you know different compressors and you know different. You know, mics and what the mics go through and different interfaces and what rig are you running for your guitars right now uh, i'm using fractal okay you know yeah that's uh we we started using it when we're now when we're recording we will use the fractal and, and the kempers too a little bit usually just for clean stuff or something sometimes really affected yeah stuff. yeah yeah they got for, great effects in that yeah for a straight guitar it's always usually just a, a tube amp mm -hmm. you know overdriven um actually Sometimes we'll have like a crunchy box as well mixed in with like a, you know, whatever, a Marshall, a Mason Boogie, whatever, you know, diesel. And this We've is, yeah, diesel is great, man. We've got oh, all yeah. Kinds, yeah. Mixing the diesel in with, yeah. with a couple of things is, is kind of key sometimes. Yeah. And that's more, you're talking more studio when you're doing that. Are you, are you taking, that's what are you, you taking do that the on the road? On the road, it's just, just fractals. Now yeah. we started with, let's get a, like a, we, we looked at both Kempers and fractals for like a, a, a one-off rig rather than shipping all our stuff out which is super expensive yeah. and time consuming let's bring it all down to just you know this mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we started doing that and found that the sound is consistent way more Absolutely. consistent night after night you know when i have a tube amp it changes every night depending on you know the electricity and you have all the, the backups humidity, too. whatever yeah yeah you gotta have all the backups for total totally tubes and everything expensive. Expensive. we do have backups of course but it's of course smaller. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and a lot more consistent it sounds you know better and, and they've come great, so man. far they you really used have. to not be able to get any kind of good distorted sound out of solid state stuff it it just all sounded like crap, you know. Yeah. Uh, but now they've come so far. You can make, you can model, you know, your plexi and make it sound almost. Yeah, and yeah, you can make it sound however you yeah. want these days. It's, it's really, it's, it's fantastic. So.